Zaragoza's experience and pedigree weren't formidable enough. His trainer, Nacho Bernstein, has trained 11 world champions, has three of them right now, including Zaragoza and including Ricardo Lopez, who is at this moment the greatest of all Mexican fighters, the strawweight champion who's 46-0 with 35 knockouts. Zaragoza, 55 wins, 7 losses, 3 draws, 27 KOs. He insists if he loses tonight, he retires. Retirement is a constant topic of conversation at every Zaragoza fight. I think he's been inspired by his own talk of retirement because he doesn't want to. Let's go to Michael Buffer for the official introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, Top Rank Incorporated, in association with Lester Bedford Promotions and DMP Productions, along with your undisputed, undefeated king of beers, Budweiser. This Bud's for you present 12 rounds of boxing for the WBC Super Bantamweight Championship of the World. Sanctioned by the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation, Executive Director Tommy V. Smith, Boxing Coordinator, Dickie Cole. Deputy Executive Director in attendance, Henry Molina. Along with the World Boxing Council, President Jose Suleiman, WBC Supervisor Ringside, Hector Garcia. The three physicians in attendance at Ringside, Dr. Paul Rivera, Dr. Ricardo Igure, and Dr. Ray Ibera. The timekeeper is Slim Delgado and counting for the knockdown seconds, Mark Ortega. Your three judges at ringside scoring this bout on a 10-point must system are Tommy Kazmarek, Bob Logiste, and Terry Smith. And when the bell rings, the man in charge of the action, your referee, Lawrence Cole. And now, for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world, from El Paso, Texas, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing white, trimmed with black letters, and weighing in at 121 and one quarter pounds. His professional record, a perfect one. 26 consecutive victories with 20 knockouts. From Tijuana, Mexico, here is the WBC number one ranked super bantamweight challenger in the world, Terrible Eric His opponent across the ring fighting out of the red corner wearing green trimmed with gold and weighing even 122 pounds his professional record stands at 55 victories 27 by knockout with seven defeats and three draws and he has captured three world titles presenting the three-time world champion and reigning wbc super bantamweight champion of the world Damas y Caballeros de Ciudad de México, Daniel Zaragoza. Hey, hey, come here, quickly. Daniel, Daniel, come here, Daniel. Okay, play Olympia y buena suerte. That's all the Spanish I know, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Morales has not impressed everyone as a prize fighter, but every time he moves up in class, he moves his game up. If he moves it up again tonight, hey. he will sustain himself hey. as a champion. And you heard referee Lawrence Coles admission. That's all the Spanish I know, baby. Cole has been advised by the Texas State Athletic Commission tonight to use only four words to communicate to the boxers. Box, break, stop, and time. Each of the two boxers has been schooled to understand those four English words tonight because neither uses English in everyday conversation. Box, break, stop, and time. A 
else for a guy who said he wanted to go at Zaragoza savagely in the opening round. Comes out a little bit languid, dancing from side to side and not throwing punches as the southpaw Zaragoza looks for ways to land his jab. And part of the reason why he's not throwing punches is because Zaragoza always fakes as though he's coming with this big bomb. And it keeps the other guys on defense so much until they can't come at him like they want to. He gives that little head dip, and it seems as though he's going to throw overhand left like he did right there, and they have to respect that. Oh, there was a there quick he lands overhand it. Look. Yep, now he'll have to respect it, that's for sure. <laughs> Zaragoza ducking, ducking the straight right, landing a little pawing right. Doesn't do a lot of damage with his punches. He just puts the gloves on you over and over and over. Because the best defense, like we said earlier tonight, is offense. Now Morales starts to find Zaragoza. Nailed him with a right hand as Zaragoza was coming in. Morales seems determined to try to establish his left jab. He may have trouble doing that against the southpaw. Yeah, because that left hand is right there. And Daniel has already established his right jab. There's that overhand left again. Incidentally, there is no air conditioning in this arena. And in a moment or two, we'll try to get a look at a ringside thermometer and figure out exactly what are the conditions under which the fighters are working right now. Not good. Not good at all. <laughs> things you notice, Roy, is that when Zaragoza punches, Morales backs off. He doesn't fire right back. No, I think he's trying to let Zaragoza wear himself down a little bit. But from what we've seen of Zaragoza, that won't be happening anytime soon. Well, it may happen in the 11th round when he's ahead 8-2. <laughs> to two. Zaragoza with a winging, seeing eye left over the top. And Morales blocking some shots with his gloves, but it's been a Largely inactive round for 21-year-old Eric Morales, and Zaragoza landed that one big left-hand shot. Temperature 90 degrees at ringside. You get under the lights in the middle of the ring, and I would vouchsafe it's a little bit more than that. And as we go to both corners, where Spanish is the predominant language, our interpreter is Ray Torres. Okay, you need to keep your hands up until you get the distance that you need. When you come out, you make sure you don't have your hands down because he's going to counter you with the right hand. Close your eyes. Let's get some Vaseline on you. Everything's okay. You need to be real alive. He's, a, he's an amateur. He's really an amateur. He doesn't have too much respect for you. Let's go, Eric. It's a championship fight. Zaragoza looks like he's got a 29-year-old's body and a 49-year-old's head, <laughs> which, is, which is why he's 39. Morales landed his most solid jab of the bout, and there's another one. He begins to pump the jab with a little bit more purpose. Now by establishing that jab first, he gets out in front of Daniel Zaragoza, and it's easier for him to hit Daniel. But as soon as he has a lack in his action, Daniel Zaragoza comes right back and starts faking at him, and he gets in front of the action. Morales able to release only 34 punches in the first round as he was tentative against Zaragoza's curious style. Seems determined to be a little bit more aggressive in this round and seems more relaxed as well. And he fought a smart round. He didn't take a lot of big chances. He stayed sharp, and that would be the main thing for him tonight, I think. Good shot by Zaragoza. Zaragoza raking Morales with that awkward left-hand shot over the top. He throws punches from weird angles and lands sometimes when you don't think it's possible. <laughs> He's done that now three or four times, Roy, so I suspect that they just saw something in the tapes and he tends to drop his right hand, Morales. Yeah, he's giving him a little head fake like he's going to the body with the left hand. Is there, Gosa? When he drops the hand a little bit, he comes over the top. There are some 
Zaragoza fans who will tell you that the fight hasn't begun until he's bleeding. He claims that in two fights against Paul Banky, he sustained double figures worth of cuts. They don't bother him much. No, they don't bother him at all. In fact, I think they motivate him. He had 15 cuts in one fight with Banky. Again, that looping left hand over the top landed flush on the right cheek of Eric Morales. It doesn't seem to be bothering Morales at all, though. He's very focused in on what he wants. But it's scoring. Yeah, it's scoring, but he's concentrating. He's best, a younger fighter. Best right hand of the early going for Morales. Zaragoza may have been hamming it up a little bit as he bounced back into the ropes. We asked Zaragoza if he thought that Morales was as good a fighter as Wayne McCullough, and he said, no way. I think the reason he probably said that is because Wayne McCullough is one of the busiest fighters of our decade. Yep, between them, McCullough and Zaragoza threw more than 2,200 punches in their 12 rounds in Boston. And that is a bunch of punches. Fifth highest number <laughs> of all time recorded by CompuBox. Time! Two rounds in the books. Scheduled 12, Daniel Zaragoza and Derek Morales. Let's do some counter punching, Eric. You need to work that right hand. You got to keep it, trying to punch him in the, in the body. That solar plexus is a good spot for you. When, when he goes to the right, step back and step and then hit him. When, when you're in close, make sure you punch. Throw punches.